The book of Amos, chapter 2. Thus saith the Lord for three transgressions of Moab and for four. I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he burned the bones of the king of Edom into lime. The stone, right? But I will send a fire upon Moab, and it shall devour the palaces of Kirioth. And Moab shall die with tumult, with shouting, and with the sound of the trumpet. And I will cut off the judge from the midst thereof, and will slay all the princes thereof with him, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Judah, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they have despised the law of the Lord, and have not kept his commandments, and their lies caused them to err. After the which their fathers have walked. But I will send a fire upon Judah, and it shall devour the palaces of Jerusalem. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Israel and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof because they sold the righteous for silver and the poor for a pair of shoes. that pant after the dust of the earth on the head of the poor and turn aside the way of the meek and a man and his father will go in unto the same maid to profane my holy name and they lay themselves down upon clothes laid to pledge by every altar and they drink the wine of the condemned in the house of their God Yet destroyed I the Amorite before them, whose height was like the height of the cedars. And he was strong as the oaks. Yet I destroyed his fruit from above and his roots from beneath. Also I brought you up from the land of Egypt and led you forty years through the wilderness to possess the land of the Amorite. And I raised up of your sons for prophets and of your young men for Nazarites. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel, saith the Lord? But ye gave the Nazarites wine to drink and commanded the prophets saying, Prophesy not. Behold, I am pressed under you as a cart is pressed that is full of sheaves. Therefore the flight shall perish from the swift, and the strong shall not strengthen his force, neither shall the mighty deliver himself. Neither shall he stand that handleth the bow, and he that is swift of foot shall not deliver himself, neither shall he that rideth the horse deliver himself. And he that is courageous among the mighty shall flee away naked in that day, saith the Lord. Chapter 3. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Will a lion roar in the forest when he hath no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he have taken nothing? Can a bird fall in his snare upon the earth? where no gin is for him? Shall one take up a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city 
and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord hath not done it? Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. The lion hath roared, who will not fear? The Lord God hath spoken, who cannot but prophesy? Publish in the palaces at Ashdod, and in the palaces in the land of Egypt, and say, Assemble yourselves upon the mountains of Samaria, and behold the great tumults in the midst thereof and the oppressed in the midst thereof. For they know not to do right, saith the Lord, who store up violence and robbery in their palaces. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, an adversary there shall be even round about the land. And he shall bring down thy strength from thee, and thy palaces shall be spoiled. Thus saith the Lord, as the shepherd taketh out of the mouth of the lion two legs, or a piece of an ear, so shall the children of Israel be taken out that dwell in Samaria, in the corner of a bed, and in Damascus in a couch. Hear ye and testify in the house of Jacob, saith the Lord God, the God of hosts, that in the day that I shall visit the transgressions of Israel upon him, I will also visit the altars of Bethel. And the horns of the altar shall be cut off and fall to the ground. And I will smite the winter house with the summer house, and the houses of ivory shall perish, and the great houses shall have an end, saith the Lord. Chapter 4. Hear this word, ye kind of Bashan, that are in the mountain of Samaria, which oppress the poor, which crush the needy, which say to their masters, Bring and let us drink. The Lord God hath sworn by his holiness that, lo, the days shall come upon you, that he will take you away with hooks, and your posterity with fish hooks. And ye shall go out at the breaches every cow, at that which is before her, and ye shall cast them into the palace, saith the Lord. Come to Bethel and transgress. At Gilgal multiply transgression, and bring your sacrifices every morning and your tithes after three years, and offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving with leaven, and proclaim and publish the free offerings. For this liketh you, O ye children of Israel, saith the Lord God. And I also have given you cleanness of teeth in all your cities, and want of bread in all your palaces. Yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. He's saying he's making him hungry, but they're still not returning to him. And also I have withholden the rain from you, when there were yet three months to the harvest, and I caused it to rain upon one city and caused it not to rain upon another city. One piece was rained upon, and the piece whereupon it rained not withered. So two or three cities wandered unto one city to drink water, but they were not satisfied Yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. I have smitten you with blasting and mildew. When your gardens and your vineyards and your fig trees and your olive trees increased, the palmer worm devoured them. All right, this this is the second time we've heard about this worm. There must be others, some other significance to this worm. Trying to see where it was. I'm going to have to look at that worm. But it's blight. It's plight. 
I have sent among you the pestilence. It's pestilence. I have sent among you the pestilence after the manner of Egypt, right? I wish I, I, wish I knew those off the top of my head. Um, the ten plagues. Well, actually... All the waters turned to blood, frogs covered the land, all the dust turned to lice, terrible beasts ran wild, all the cattle were covered with the, this plague, right? That's the plague, maybe we're talking about. Boils covered all Egyptians, a mixture of hail and fire rained on the land. Locusts came and ate everything in the fields. That sounds more like this palmer worm, the locust issue. The entire land is enveloped in darkness. Every Egyptian firstborn died. It sounds like... That's pretty gross when all the dust turned to lice, but that is kind of a pestilence. Um, the cattle sickness kind of r- reminds of plague, but... The closest thing is this locust came and ate everything in the fields. It sounds like that's what this palmer worm. They are comparing it to the Egyptian locusts. Palmer worm. It's interesting that I'm sure they still have this type of worm. Let's look it up. I'll put it on uh, the picture. I have sent among you the pestilence after the manner of Egypt. Your young men have I slain with the sword and have taken away your horses. And I have made the stink of your camps to come up unto your nostrils. Yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. I have overthrown some of you as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and ye were as a firebrand plucked out of the burning, yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. Therefore, thus will I do unto thee, O Israel. And because I will do this unto thee, prepare to me thy God, O Israel. For lo, he that formeth the mountains and createth the wind and declareth unto man what is his thought, that maketh the morning darkness, and treadeth upon the high places of the earth. The Lord, the God of hosts, is his name. 